In this clip, we'll look at how to handle problems that involve interest being compounded monthly. So I'll present a practice problem here. I'll show you how to solve it, and then I'll give you a practice problem here. You can try it on paper, and I'll show you the solution when you're ready. Let's get started by having a look at our problem. If $400 is invested at 15% per year, compounded monthly, what is the total amount after six years? All right, well, since we're dealing with money that's being compounded, I know we're going to need to use our compound interest formula. So let's just review that quickly. The formula looks like this. And that first variable, A, is the amount, and it's in dollars. It's the amount of money you end up with after you're done investing. P is the principal, also in dollars, and it's the amount of money that you start with before you're investing. I is in percent, and it's the interest rate, or how fast your money grows. And the exponent is N, and it's the number of times the money is being compounded. So keep your eye on I and N, because we'll do a little bit of converting with those numbers in this problem. The first thing I'll do is pick out our givens, or the important numbers in this problem that I'll need. The first thing I see is $400 is being invested. So that's the amount of money that we start with. In other words, that's our P, or principal. So I'm going to jot that down. P is $400. The next number that I see is a rate. It's a percent, 15% per year. So that's the speed of our growth. In other words, that's our I, the interest rate. So I is given as 15%. Finally, I'll need to find n, the number of times the money is compounded. Since we're talking about money being compounded monthly, that means it's compounded 12 times in a year, because there's 12 months in a year. And we're dealing with 6 years. So for questions that involve money being compounded monthly, we need to take the number of years and multiply it by 12. 12 times 6 is 72. So the, num the money is being compounded 72 times in this problem. Let's move on to step 2. In questions that involve money being compounded monthly, I need to do this very important step. I need to take the rate given in the question and divide it by 12. And that's because the interest rate is expressed per year in the problem, but I need to find out what the rate is per compound period, or in other words, per month. So I'll divide it by 12, the number of months there are in a year. And to solve that, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my calculator. 15 divided by 12 is equal to 1.25. So per month, our money grows at a rate of 1.25%. But now I need to convert that into a decimal so I can use it in my formula in the next step. To convert 1.25 to decimal, I'll just write down the number. And then I'm going to slide the decimal point two places to the left. And I arrive at an answer of 0 0.0125. And now I've got everything I need to go ahead and plug my numbers into the compound interest formula and solve for A, the amount. So I'll say A is equal to, and I'll just start filling in my known values. The principal is 400, and it's multiplied by this bracket, 1 plus my I, which I converted right here in step 2, 0 0.0125. And it's to the exponent N, which we found was 12 times 6, or 72. The next thing I'll do is I'm going to clean up this bracket just a bit. I'll put the 1 and the 0 0.0125 together. So 1 plus 0 0.0125 is 1.0125. And it's still to the exponent 72. And to get my answer, I'm going to take 1.0125 and do the exponent of that 
get my answer, and then multiply it by 400. So let me show you the steps on the calculator. I'll punch in 1.0125 to the exponent, which is this x to the y button, 72. And I'll get my answer with equals. Then I'll multiply it by 400. And there's my answer. $978 and we'll say 37 cents. We'll round that. $978 and 37 cents. And that's my final answer. So this investment started off with $400 and after six years it's grown to, well, almost $1,000. $978 and 37 cents. And the very last thing I'll do is add a concluding statement, and it reads like this. Therefore, the total amount is $978.37. And there you go. There's my problem all finished. And now it's your turn to get some practice compounding monthly. So I'll give you a practice problem, and I'll post the solution down here when you're ready. So try and use the same steps I've shown you here on the left. Here's how your problem reads. If $1,000 is invested at 14% per year compounded monthly, what is the total amount after three years? Okay, try that one out now. And your answer is $1,520.07. And we found that by first listing our givens, P, I, and N, and remembering to multiply the number of years by 12 to get 36, since we're compounding monthly. Step two, we need to take our i and divide it by 12, since we're compounding monthly. Convert that to a decimal. And finally, in step three, we plug in our p, our converted i, and our n, and we arrive at $1,520.07.